I'm uh, Håkon Wimli. I'm the CTO of Opera Software. Uh, I'm happy to be here at Google I.O. What we did yesterday was to show Opera, the browser, with the WebM support. WebM is a format that has been developed recently by Google and others. Um, what, what WebM will do for the web is to provide a, a video format uh, so we don't have to fight about what kind of format we should use with the new video tag in HTML5, which is very important. We believe in this, but the HTML5 video tag needed a format, and, and now we have it, uh, and I think it's called WebM. So what do you think the difference is between uh, WebM and, and the old internet, or VP8? Well, um, WebM is VP8. It is the VP8 video format, but they added Ogborb is the audio format, and then they wrapped uh, MKV around it so that you have a, 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 a full-fledged format as opposed to just the video uh, codec. Um, and I think it, it will be significant because it will allow video to become a, a first-class citizen of the web. We no longer have to use plugins, for example. You no longer have to use the Flash plugin to show video. You can do this natively in your browser when it has support for video, uh, the video element and for the WebM format. Now, Adobe is supporting VP8, but they're not supporting WebM. What's, what's yeah. the difference with that? Well, that's right. They said yesterday that they would add VP8 to, to the Flash uh, plugin. That's very good news. That means people can, can encode their videos into VP8 and use it either with Flash or with WebM. Uh, it would have been better if they, I guess, added support for the full the WebM uh, from the beginning, but I think that may change in the future. We'll see. Okay. And Opera's had the message of one internet for as, as long as I can remember. How do you think WebM plays into that? It, it fits very well into our model. We want the, the internet to be uh, a rich experience and video has been missing from the package. Now we have it. Uh, we can do very rich content with HTML5, with CSS3, with video, with the canvas element. All these new things that designers have been asking for are now there. Uh, there's still some work to do to test this to make sure it works and works interoperably between browsers. But we see that within 12 months, I think, we will see a new generation of web content come in. Oh, did I mention web fonts? Fonts are very important. Uh, so, th this will come together within 12 months, I think, and, and we'll see a new kind of level of web content being, being published. So, we very much look forward to that. Uh, it, the, the message from our side is, is still the same. Uh, there's only one internet, but it's going to improve a little. It's going to be more beautiful uh, 12 months from now. So, one, one last question about VP8. Now that um, Flash 10.1 is coming out and Adobe is going to be supporting VP8, do yeah. you think that uh, VP8 is going to be uh, less hot, that it's going to require less, uh, less resources? Uh, that's a good question. You know, whether the playback of VP8 requires less resources than other formats. Um, I hope so. Um, we need to make video run on very uh, low-end ma machines, not just the high-end computers. We need to do it in software as much as possible, although we also think that hardware uh, implementations will come along. Uh, I think it's going to be less, I think the designers have said that they, you know, really tried to make it easy to decode VP8, and I, th I, I hope they're right about that. But I, I haven't been able to personally test the temperature of my laptop computer when, uh, you know, decoding video, so we'll see. Thank you very much. Thank you.